Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Um, today I wanted to talk about Disney money saving tips and hacks that I've kind of learned as I visited the parks um, over the years. Um, just a few different random things that you may know about, you may have heard people doing, but um, you've always kind of wondered what is you know, an easy way to maybe cut some corners and ensure that you can have maybe a longer trip or a better trip. Um, just some random stuff that I do as an annual pass holder and as somebody that goes to the parks relatively frequently, probably too much even, <laughs> um, if I do say so myself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here are some of my ways that we save money in the parks or um, different tips that I would give to someone if they asked me, hey, I'm going to Disney and do you have any tips for having a good time at the park? Um, my very first tip, which I don't really know if this is a tip, but it would just be to kind of understand what your goals are for your vacation. If you are coming for one week and you haven't been to Disney in a really long time or you know that this is probably going to be your only vacation for a few years, um, you're definitely going to have a different outlook on your time in the parks and at the resorts than um, me who goes probably like every other weekend, um, which I really miss going. Um, but you're gonna have a different set of goals, you're gonna have a different budget, you're gonna have a whole different situation. So understanding um, what your goals are, if you're gonna be back, when you're gonna be back, what is going on during the time of year that you're going, um, all of those things are gonna be really important, things that can make it easier to prioritize your stuff. And when you're prioritizing certain things, you'll be organized and when you're organized you're more likely to you know be able to save money and have a more efficient trip um, so with that generalization once you have an idea of what you want once you know what are, things are important to you once you know you know I'm going to Epcot in June and there's gonna be the flower and garden festival so I know I'm gonna want to eat at all the booths you know in your mind you know I want to go to this character breakfast or I want to do you know, go eat in the castle like all of those things you can prioritize and you can work around the big things and then start filling in the little things and it'll all come together really nicely. Now for some more specific ways that you can go about this um, and this is just gonna kind of be like a laundry list of random stuff that I do um, but first up kids meals. Kids meals are a really great way to save money. Now I understand that some people um, you know kids meals don't really do it for them but um, you'd be surprised meals are a great way to kind of hold you over if you are in the parks and um, let's say you know you're gonna have a nice dinner somewhere and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money you can really get a lot out of a kids meal um, I know that my, my sister and I do it all the time we always grab kids meals and it is a really great way that if you are on a tight budget you can still eat inside the park you don't have to bring something with you and you can you know save some money um, I wouldn't do it for all my meals. I don't think that that would be enough food, but there are definitely a lot of restaurants where you can just quick service kids meals and just kind of keep going. Um, another really great way, in my opinion, to save some money while you're in the parks is to pack snacks. Now, I know that there's a lot of Disney snacks that people want to try, and that is where planning comes in. So what I would do is create like a snack bucket list and maybe put your top five snacks that you want or your top 10 snacks or maybe, you know, top whatever snacks. Make a list. It can be as many things as you want, but make a list and have a plan in your head so when you go to the park, you know this is what I want to buy um, and this is what I want and this is kind of where I'm going with that, but you also have other stuff with you that way you're not, you know, buying everything at the parks because things can add up very quickly. I want to do a whole video on the dining plan and my experiences with the dining plan and my opinions on the dining plan because I feel like that's a whole nother situation. Um, but enough about food. Now we'll talk about maybe something a little kind of random. Check in and ask to um, not participate in mousekeeping. It's just their housekeeping. It's just, you know, them bringing you towels or sheets or anything like that. You can omit that from your entire stay and then you get starting on the second day that you stay you get a ten dollar gift card for every night that you stay and you don't have mousekeeping that is a really 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 easy way to save some money and just get a gift card and then you can use it on whatever you want um, i know a lot of people don't really know about this but it is a great way to save some money and Obviously, you're not going to have the mousekeeping service. They're not going to be giving you, 
um, the same service, but they still will deliver towels and sheets um, and pretty much anything that you need. They will always, 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 if you call, they will make sure that you have everything that you need in order to have a great stay. Um, you're just going to have a different, you're not going to, you're not going to have them coming into your hotel room, which is totally fine with me and it's totally worth $10 a night. Another really great way to save some money while you're um, trying to get those Disney souvenirs is to visit the outlet stores. Um, surrounding Disney, there are two outlet stores. Um, they're very close to the parks. There's one that's the Vineland Premium Outlets, and then there's another one that I believe is like the Orlando Outlets. They're very similar in name. And they get all of the merchandising directly from the parks. Disney directly brings it to the stores, and it is all Disney parks real merchandise it is from the festivals it's from when hol holidays it's from you know different ear collections that get you know kind of trickled out and all those things there's pins there's literally everything you could imagine stuffed animals shirts dresses from the dress store like literally everything you can imagine and everything is super super discounted um this is something that i know a lot of locals know about we tend to go there a lot i know that like the day after an epcot festival I'll always go there and you know get like the spirit jersey or maybe if there's like festival specific ears um, pretty much like I would say 90% of my ears that are Disney Park ears I have gotten at the discount at a discounted price at the outlets um, just because the deals are insane and if you can go um, it's really really worth it um, you can get like I like to go after like the holidays and stuff and get like the different holiday mugs or the different t-shirts um, I've gotten a lot of like Halloween shirts for like 99 cents um, and just really fun stuff that you would pay like upwards of 40 or 50 dollars in the parks. Pins, that's a really good one to get. Um, my pin traders out there, um, I like to go there and get pins for like $2.99 and then I can trade them in the parks for any pin that a cast member has. It's a really good way to get a discount on pins while still making sure that um, all the pins that are in circulation at the parks are real Disney pins. I know that unfortunately um, a lot of people will buy fake pins online for really cheap and then they will trade them um, and then there will be fake pins circulating and so this is a really good way to um, kind of get into pin trading affordably and then uh, make sure that you're using real pins um, uh, so that there's not like fake pins out there because that's a whole nother issue but um, so that is a really really fun way um, I would go if I was staying for a week I'd probably try to carve out like maybe one or two times to go um, and just kind of see what they have they always have different stuff they're always getting new stuff it's just random and it's awesome and it's a really great way to save money so yeah one more tip um, this one is for all of my Target fans. If you are a Target red card holder, you can buy Disney gift cards with your Target red card and then get 5% off of your gift cards. This one's huge for me as a local because I like to have a Disney gift card with me at all times. Um, it's a really good way to track your spending at the parks. Um, I have done it before where like I'll buy like a $50 gift card for the month, which is like a way of like budgeting and um, the only thing that I really buy in the parks, well, there's, okay, the things that I normally buy in the parks are food, um, there is the occasional popcorn bucket sipper slurp, <laughs> there is the occasional popcorn bucket or sipper slip up, it's not really a slip up, I just am a big Disney collector of like, these little guys, like the little sippers, I have the spike one, um, popcorn buckets, I'm a sucker for them. Um, but I use my gift cards on that too, and you can get 5% off. Plus, here's an extra thing. If you're an annual pass holder, you already get a discount when you buy things in the stores. So if you're gonna buy something in a store, and you're gonna use your Disney gift card that you bought at Target and you got 5% off, and then you're gonna get an additional 10% off. I think it's 10%, I haven't bought stuff at Disney in a while with my annual pass discount. So now you're getting like 15% off, maybe 20% off, depending on if they're doing 15 or 10%. Same thing with your sit-down restaurants, Disney annual pass holders. You get your pass holders and then your pass holder discount, and then you have your discounted gift card that you bought, and boom, you're saving so much money. I love it, it makes me so happy. It's so exciting. So those are some like pretty easy tips. Um, there's definitely like hundreds of ways you can save money at Disney, but I feel like these are the easiest ways and these are the least thoughtful 
ways that they don't really require you to do a lot or to jump through a lot of hoops. Um, oh, one more note on the Target gift cards. Um, they can be done completely from your, ah, orange bird, I just knocked him over. They can be done completely from your phone. So you can order it through the Target app and then it will send you an email and so you can completely just have it on your phone and then they will scan your phone at the kiosks at Epcot whenever you're at Food and Wine or whatever food festival. It will scan it at the um, stores and I mean it's a no-brainer. It's pretty simple. So those are just some of the tips that I have kind of adopted on a pretty regular basis. I mean, I don't stay at the parks that often just because we are locals, um, but every time we stay, we try to make sure that we do the mouse keeping. Um, you do have to be staying for at least two nights, so sometimes we just stay for one night, so you can't do that, but if we're staying for more than two nights, you know that we're doing that, and I always, always, always make sure to buy my Target gift cards, to buy my Disney gift cards at Target to get that extra 5% off. You know, that makes a big difference if you're buying a hotel room and now you're getting 5% off your hotel room and your food and pretty much everything and it's a great way to budget. Using gift cards is a great way to cut yourself off. If you say, you know, this is how much money I have to spend on food, these are my food gift cards. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's a really great way to keep yourself on target and, and achieve your goals at Disney. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I apologize if this was all over the place. It's just kind of a conversation about saving money and budgeting at Disney. Like if we were just friends at lunch and this would be kind of how we would talk. I mean, obviously you would talk. I wouldn't talk the whole time, although I do tend to ramble. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips were helpful and let me know if you have any other questions or if you have any like specific things that you'd like to see me talk about as far as tips, money saving, hacks, all those things. Um, as an annual pass holder and as somebody that goes all the time, I definitely have had to come up with some good ways to save money. So I'm always thinking, and if you have any tips for me, let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.